Boss Turtle here. Today, I am in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I am here because some dirtbag covered up the graffiti highway with dirt. So I could never got a chance to see it. But at least I could see Graffiti Pier. Now I'm here today with the Muscle Russell. He's not very clowny today. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> and we're going to uh, check this place out. So stick around and see what there is to see. Look, I got a fan. So this is where we're, this little pile, I'm gonna take a picture of where I'm at from a further distance. I wanted to come up here because there's some really cool stuff on the other side of this. So stick around here and just hang one second. And look at that, see that ball down there? It looks like, kinda looks like the ball that you would hook your boat or your trailer up to, but it's mighty big. It's actually like a mooring line. They would use it to wrap the rope around, the mooring lines around for the ships. And then they would pull them to bring them closer to the pier. And uh, as you can see, down here in the water, there is parts of the pier. And I don't know if you can see it here. But all the metal work sticking out so uh, yeah we're gonna check out there's some more stuff here too that I just wanted to point out it just look cool so as I get over there I'll show you check it out there's a stock of mooring line here this would be used to tie the ship to the dock and this stuff for every foot of mooring line at rest it could stretch three feet so what you would do is take a three foot long piece of rope and tie it off like here then go down a foot and tie it off and as the currents moved the ship and pulled it away you would know you'd have to bring the ship closer when that rope caught off and uh, that is one of the many what that rope it was called that little rope is one of the many things that comes from um, nautical terminology that's used in modern day slang. That little piece of rope is called a tattletale. So now you know where that term comes from. Like your little sister was a tattletale. But we're gonna go over here now. We're gonna check out the graffiti part. And uh, that's where they would have the coal. Ships would come in and get the coal dumped in for to move out for trade and because of uh, steam liners. But as we got more into petroleum and less into uh, coal and steam, this dock became abandoned. And then it became a haven for graffiti. Now, the local Philadelphia government wants to, is turning it into a park so that you can come here and check it out and they want to make it so that you're still permitted to continue the tradition of graffiti here. So that's pretty neat. So I'm going to jump down there, climb up here, and then head over and head over there. See you in a few. So you can see here are some of the tracks. They're awfully close together. Not train tracks. Sorry, Rich. But this is where they would have the loaders roll down. And that is where I just was. Where I started the video from. This is where they had some lighting. So, you can tell, see the old boats and stuff in there. Well, for the time being, I think uh, there's been enough discussion about what this place was used for, the history of the docks and uh, some of the working parts. So now, let's just get into uh, admiring some of the artwork here. Now you have to understand there is some great pieces of art and then there is just some garbage graffiti. And I'm sure that everybody here can uh, understand 
what I mean when I say that. For instance, this is great art. And this is garbage graffiti. So let's check these things out. We'll walk down here first. See what we got to see. Do a quick walk. There's a great place for pictures. Restoration for this place isn't really over, started or completed. So you guys still got to watch out for things like that. If you come through, you see some really cool stuff. I get the hooks in the uh, old power cables. I mean, without a doubt, you could. Look at that. Is that Eisenhower? Pretty cool, man. Hey, look, I think that's supposed to be Edgar Allan Poe, but uh, kind of got splatty with a paintball gun. That almost looks like Jimi Hendrix. Let's back up, try to get off. There we go. Beautiful. That thing is cool. Here's some of the original uh, wood. Get more power couplings. Let's see if we can't get a zoom. Oh, look at that. This place is pretty cool though, I have to say. This ain't bad. I like the idea of a designated graffiti area. So, there you go. And since I'm here, I might as well start. Oh yeah, there's an Illuminati eye. You want to play graffiti tag? You'll find an Illuminati eye. You always find one of those. There's a heart right there and a peace sign. So, you know, you're always bound to find those in the graffiti. Hearts and peace signs. There's another little Illuminati triangle. Oh, that is cool. I like that arcway. That is really cool. That, look at that. Whew, that is cool. Really, really something else. There's another thing to be cautious of 
periodically you might find ditches like that. Alrighty. So let's see what else there is. You got a skull. I always find skulls. Oh, there you go, the F word. So many colors, man. So many colors. I mean, this place is crazy. Even the trees get tagged. Don't know where the muscle is, though. Let's go see if we can find him. Look at that. It's Baby Yoda with a knife. How apropos. I mean, after all, I'm Batman, so you got a comic book character and SpongeBob. Somebody was here for Halloween. That's pretty neat. Pretty apropos to have a knife wheeled in Baby Yoda, considering everything that's uh, been going on lately in the Mandalorian with the meat in the eggs. Look at this! Look at this! Holy cow! Still got some wire. See, this is a old tire that they used as a fender. And it's still hooked up to the bits here. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool uh, measure, old measurement. That's really cool. I've seen, been seeing stickers and paintings of this girl all over the place. I don't know if it has to do with a band or what. Wish I could get up into that window, but I can't. <laughs> oh, I found remnants of the muscle. Here's another part. I'm sure that uh, they once connected. <laughs> If you look right there, I'm going to zoom in. Graffiti Park. Keep it clean. <laughs> yeah, this place is not clean. Oh, I found muscle. <laughs> We're going to go in here and check this out, and then I'll catch up with them again. Don't forget your tripod. <laughs> oh, look. look at that somebody lives up there probably a veteran and you gotta you know, they go right into there keep them dry I have no idea how they get up there hey look Michael Myers Pretty cool. Oh, it's not good here, huh? Boy. So, oh, there we go. Look at that. 420 stuff. Definitely part of the things you see playing graffiti when you're trying to play graffiti tag. I'm sure you'll see others. Mushroom.
place is just so cool though. Look at that! That! Somebody painted that! Yeah. That is incredible. And the fact that they went all the way up there to paint it. And I... morning oh look at that Oh, I got a roof above me now. Come out. And look at that barge. Whew. That is pretty cool. And you can see it's a foggy view of the city of Philadelphia. Come around. Huh, there's some religious stuff that you'll always find. And the Simpsons. So there's the cartoon characters you always find. Pretty cool. I'm gonna go swing on that swing. You wanna join me? We we Here we go, here's another thing you always find. A red rocket. A <laughs> pink Batman. <laughs> here's some cool pieces. That is really cool. Even with the graffiti that someone did over it, it still makes it look pretty cool. And then there's this, this is amazing. Almost makes you want to go come over here and see what she's looking at. Oh, and here you go. There's some R.I.P. for you. Now, since Eddie Van Halen recently passed, you always find some R.I.P. stuff. Another little thing to add into the graffiti tag. There you go, an anarchy symbol. So now, in order to complete a game of graffiti tag, all I need to find, oh wow, look at that. All I need to find is some Nazi type of racist stuff and um, some devil worship and stuff so let's see if we run into those things looks like I found some uh, pentagram or some devil worship and stuff so uh, the next thing I gotta do oh, and there's a carbon copy of it right there so the next thing I gotta do is find me a, what was it? Oh, some racist stuff. That shouldn't be difficult. Almost. Almost. No love for the KK, no love in the KKK. It's a reverse of racist stuff. <laughs> As you can see, this 
definitely near, you know, we just passed voting season. <laughs> Cat in a hat wants you to vote. Hey look, a call box. We found this. I put spikes into this tree. So I'm gonna climb up there. I know what you're thinking. Looking at that spike and going, that's barely in there because you're used to seeing railroad spikes. But just so you know, this spike was driven in that far. And this spike is huge. Pretty amazing, huh? But I'll see you up there. Oh, if you look at this, and you start, don't pay attention to the muscle making ro noise down there. You see, here's a uh, part of the loader, what's left of it, which is really cool. I know uh, one Mr. Rich Discoveries would find this interesting. You see where we're sheared off. And still, here's part of the scoop right down there. I might have to get down there and show it to you. So that is pretty cool. That is definitely some old timey workings right here. Look at that. Another part of the loader right there. It's pretty cool, huh? Standing on the tracks. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here because I don't know what's underneath these leaves, if anything. As you can see from right there, there's, there, there's been fire damage here. But we're gonna head up there. Look over there, there's tents. I can't even imagine how those people got up there. That is insane. We walked all over, I have seen no way to get up on that side. There's the Suzuki S, you see that a lot. And turn it over here. You got yourself a yin yang. But those aren't actually parts of the games, they're just things you see a lot. There's some Soviet sickles. That would have been one back in the day, but you don't see much of them anymore now that the Soviet fell through. Still looking for that one elusive racist uh, tag, though. It'd be nice if I didn't find it. But you know I'm gonna. Found everything else. So let's just walk on down a bit. Oh, I found it. Graffiti tag, game over. They even painted the leaves. These ones are blue. These ones are green. And then nature made these ones yellow and brown. Well, I'm almost to the end. Get back down. Oh, you're down now. I just wanted to point something out. I already showed, but since I'm here with the muscle rustle, and we've seen how deep these spikes are nailed in, in comparison, I would have to say, wow, the guy who nailed all these spikes into this tree, he may have had more muscles than the rustle. Wow. You know what? <laughs> I think he might be right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty crazy. Oh, I couldn't get it to stick. Oh well. This is the good, this is what nickel deposits are good for. Here in Pennsylvania, they don't have returnables. So you get this. You would never find this in Connecticut. 
Yeah, I can see you. Check this out. This traffic cone, the tree grew right up through it. That's pretty wild. Well, I'm the lost turtle. That is the muscle Russell. This over here, whoops, is Graffiti Pier. And this is the end of the video. So you know the routine. Get out there and explore everything because there's all kinds of abandoned piers. See you next time. Hope you enjoyed.